Uh, this is David, and I'm here for vlog number two, Imagineering and me. Uh, I mentioned in my first vlog that I enjoy two things more than anything in the world, really. Uh, first film, and then Imagineering. And right now, I will be talking about the latter. Uh, what is Imagineering? Um, so before we understand Imagineering the concept, we have to understand Imagineering the word itself. Imagineering is made up of two words, imagination and engineering. But that, that doesn't mean that there's only like two jobs in the entire company. It's not like you have to work in imagination or engineering. Um, there's, you know, literally thousands of jobs, I'm sure, not that I know the exact count, uh, but they all actually do kind of fall into that general two concepts of imagination and engineering. Of course, those are both very broad things to say. Who are the Imagineers? Uh, the Imagineers are the people who work at Imagineering. They are the people, mainly, who build the theme parks. Anything about Disney that has to be built is built by Imagineers. Uh, they decorate the Disney stores. They do all that stuff. So if you've ever been to Disneyland or Disney World, uh, you have an Imagineer to thank for everything you see. Speaking of an Imagineer to thank, Let's thank the first Imagineer, Walt Disney. Imagineering the company is Walt Disney Imagineering, and that's the way I like to know it by its full name, because I think the Walt Disney part of the term is maybe the most important part. Walt Disney Imagineering is so important because, in essence, everything an Imagineer does is trying to do what Walt would do. It's like, what would Walt do? Like, WWJD, but WWWD. Of course, we don't use that term because it's weird and there's way too many W's. I say we as if I'm an Imagineer already. What do I want to do with Imagineering specifically? Like, am I just a fan or am I something more? Uh, I am, I am a little bit more than just a fan. I mean, I have lots of concepts, uh, written out and just, like, you know, I don't know. It's, I have, I have lots of stuff that I have done, but, uh, of course, I can't go too far into the process with any of these ideas, um, because, obviously, I just don't have the budget for it. I also do a little sculpting in my spare time. Not that I really want to be, um, a sculptor for Imagineering, but I think it's safe to explore all my options. Why would I want to become an Imagineer? I mean, why would I not, really? It's honestly just the best profession in the world. Have you ever made, like, a stranger smile or laugh? That warm, happy feeling that you get when you do that? Like, that's Imagineering to me. Uh, imagine being paid to do that, honestly, every day. Your job is to make other people happy. Uh, that's amazing to me. That's how I see Imagineering. The most helpful thing to me, as far as Imagineering, has been this book. Walt Disney Imagineering, a Behind the Dreams look and making magic real. Uh, lots of people have the sequel to the book, which is the same title, Walt Disney Imagineering, but it's a behind the dreams look at making more magic real. This is the rare, I think it's rare, original book, although I am hoping to get the sequel for my upcoming birthday. Hint, hint, mom. This book, uh, literally, like, I can't even fit you in frame, but, uh, it has it all. Like, it's just... The, the coolest thing that anybody has ever written, that the Imagineers would get together and build a book. This book takes you through the entire process of Imagineering from uh, the first spark of an idea through concept art all the way through the finished product. It's everything about Imagineering that you would want in a book, and I hope that the sequel is diverse enough that I'm not just going to be buying the same book again, just with different artwork. If there is someone watching this who wants to become an Imagineer, Go buy this book. Like, honestly, it's, like, it's so helpful. Another thing that's been really helpful for me in this process of wanting to become an Imagineer, like, how do I become an Imagineer, is just getting in contact with people. Just go email people, call people, like, do whatever you can to talk to Imagineers. Uh, I've had the chance to get in contact with two great former Imagineers, Bob Gurr and Marty Sklar, and have them tell me their take on how someone becomes an Imagineer. Um, and I'll link to both of those things in the description. One is just a Tumblr post of a letter I got from Marty Sklar. One is an interview that I have with Bob Gurr. It got posted on ImagineeringDisney.com. Um, I guess I'll also link 
to a great video of Kevin Rafferty talking about Imagineering done by, like, you know, they do those California tours and things, uh, one of those. So, uh, that's it, really, that I have to say on the subject in vlog form. Be sure to follow me on Tumblr because that's what you see a lot of this stuff go directly to is my Tumblr. And I enjoy new followers, so follow me on Tumblr. That's about it, yes. So, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching, and bye.